Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Gadigal people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Wednesday, July 26. In Squiz Kids Today, Aussie teenage skater champs. Wildfires burn as planet hots up. Barbie's big weekend at the movies and the very hungry bear. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. Imagine being in year seven at school and a world champion. Because that's what two Gold Coast 13-year-olds are, having made a little bit of history this week by becoming the youngest ever women's skateboarding champions at the X Games. Chloe Cavell from Tweed Heads in New South Wales smashed the competition at the Games held over the weekend just gone in California in the United States, taking out the gold medal in the street competition with an epic ride. Meanwhile, fellow Aussie Arissa True from the Gold Coast also won gold on the skate ramp, landing the first 720 by a woman in X Games competition history to hold off a 10-year-old skater from Canada who claimed silver to become the youngest medalist in the X Games' 29-year history. Wow. A 720, in case you're not a skater dude like me, (laughs) is a trick that sees the skateboard perform two full rotations in the air in the middle of a jump. Now, one rotation is 360 degrees, as you know, so two is 720, which is where it gets its name. I've stuck a link to video of Arisa performing the 720 in today's episode notes. It's just epic. And get this, now that Chloe and Arisa are top of the world, they can set their sights on competing for Australia at the Paris Olympics next year, where skateboarding will make its debut as an Olympic sport, all at the age of only 14 years old. That is just nuts. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Rhodes, which is a large island that is part of the country of Greece, where wildfires are raging in heatwave conditions and holidaymakers and locals have been forced to evacuate to safety. Temperatures in Europe have been stubbornly hovering around 40 degrees for the past week, creating exactly the hot, dry conditions that often lead to bushfires. And that's exactly what has happened with the popular tourist island in a state of emergency as firefighters yesterday tried to bring multiple blazes under control. The island's airport is crammed with tourists trying to leave as more than 19,000 people have been evacuated from their homes and hotels. Summer heat continues to cause havoc in the Northern Hemisphere, with some 59 million Americans enduring heatwave conditions in the US this week. All of which is likely to mean that when it comes to the end of next week, the month of July is expected to be named the Earth's hottest month since records began. Pop Culture Corner There's a party going on in the dream house this week and everyone is invited. Why is that? Because Barbie the movie has smashed ticket sales records, pulling in more money at the box office over the weekend than any other film has done this year. Pulling in an impressive half a billion dollars in ticket sales around the world, and yes, that's billion with a B for Barbie, The movie, about the world's best-known doll starring Aussie actress Margot Robbie, is now the biggest movie in the history of ever to be directed by a woman. Thanks to the excitement of moviegoers to get into the pink spirit, Barbie is now officially bigger than the Super Mario Brothers and every Marvel superhero film to have been released this year. The power of pink, my friends. It's a total thing. Believe it or not. From Barbie to bears, 
And no, I'm not talking about the big old grizzlies gorging themselves on salmon at the Katmai National Park, because as you know, I'm quietly obsessed with them. I'm talking about a cheeky bear in Lake Tahoe in the United States who broke into a woman's car and, while she watched on from outside, slowly but surely tore the interior of the car to shreds. I've stuck a link to video of the damaged car in today's episode notes. And that's not even the worst bit. While cleaning up the mess the bear had made, the woman discovered the furry intruder had left another surprise behind. A big old bear poo. Ew. I don't know about you, but I would barely cope. Ah, come on. That was asking for it. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. The island of Rhodes, where wildfires are burning, is part of which European country? Yeah, that's right. It's Greece. Question number two. What's the name of the Aussie actress whose Barbie movie is breaking box office records? Yes, of course, her name is Margot Robbie. Question number three. How old are the two Gold Coast skateboarders who have just dominated the X Games? Yeah, that's right. They're 13 years old. Shout outs. It's July 26. Aussie PM Anthony Albanese will fly to New Zealand today to meet with New Zealand PM Chris Hipkins, or is that Hipkins, for the annual Australia-New Zealand Leaders Meeting. I wonder if he'll bring back a tiki necklace. Hmm. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Talia from Yass, Alia from Cannon Hill, Lottie from Rose Park, Hudson from Bexhill, Samuel from Springfield, Jake from Perth, Lola from Thursday Island, Olive from Tempe, Nate from Brisbane, Edwin from Woomagama, Emily from Carlingford, Liliana from Ipswich, Felix from Bathurst, and Kenzie from Canundra. And belated birthday shout-outs go to Chloe from Richmond, Caleb from West End, Sigma from Carlingford, Senek from Narrowena, Minnie from Bentley, Finn from Neutral Bay, Joel from Pitt Town, and twins Matthew and Sophie, who are listening all the way over there in Havelock North in New Zealand. And classroom shout-outs today go to Class 2H, Miss White at Wellers Hill State School. Huh, just up the road. Class 5S and Miss Smith at Cambora Public School in Davidson. Class 5B and Mrs Carruthers at St Mary's Catholic Primary School in Orange. Class 4B and Mrs Heffernan at MacKillop Catholic College in New South Wales. Class 3, 4J and Miss Jackson at Abbotsford Public School. Grade 2 with Mrs B and Mr H at Lake Bolac College. And finally to Year 4 with Miss Renata at Our Lady of the Sacred Heart School on Thursday Island. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you're after a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au or fill out the form on our website. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Over and out.